for pizza? Oh, can I have a piece? Goody. Someday soon I'm gonna die. Okay, where's the Parmesan? <laughs> Hey, Blanche, how was your trip to Chattanooga? Wonderful, as always. Is there anything that you'd like to tell us about your trip? Like, uh, you know, what you saw, who you did? I saw my special gentleman friend. We had a lovely time, and that's all you need to know. And? And, Blanche? Rose, why won't she tell us who she goes to visit in Chattanooga? Give it up, Roland. You're never going to find out that secret. She's been going there ever since I've known her, and she won't even tell me who she sees there. Hey, I'll tell you a secret I want to find out. What does Sophia put in this pizza, man? It's addictive. Mm -hmm. I haven't tasted anything this good since those brownies I used to make. <laughs> Come to think of it, those were addictive, too. <laughs> Anyways, man, this pizza's fantastic, you know? And I'd be willing to bet there's a lot of people who think the same way I do. What are you talking about? Look, me and you were always talking about how there's not a good pizza place around here. Well, we could make a fortune with this. Yeah, but it's not our recipe. Don't you think she would give it to us? <laughs> Chewy, Sophia is Sicilian. Do you honestly think she's going to betray her own family? What if I give her a hundred bucks? That'd do it. <laughs> May I help you? <laughs> Excuse me, may I help you? Is this Miami? Well, if it isn't, my mail's been going to the wrong place. <laughs> yes, it's Miami. I just came from Chattanooga. I'm looking for Blanche. Oh, well, Blanche is... Did you say Chattanooga? Uh -huh. Ted? Blanche! Ted, what are you doing here? I came to visit you. You said so much about the hotel. I wanted to see it. How did you, how'd you get here? A nice man drove me in a big yellow car. <laughs> a big yellow car? Oh, Ted, please tell me you didn't come all the way from Chattanooga in a... Hey, someone here owes me 728 bucks. <laughs> Taxi. Did I do something wrong? Well, you shouldn't have left Chattanooga without without telling me. Come on over here and sit down. Go and get this man some money. I'll be with you in just a moment. Blanche, oh. can I watch cartoons? Yes, yes. Here, watch cartoons, but just keep the volume down low. Blanche, I just want to tell you, I think you're wonderful. Uh, what? Well, now I know who your special gentleman friend is. Without ever even bragging about it. You've been traveling to Chattanooga once a month to help this man who's mentally retarded? You know something, Blanche? He is lucky to have a friend like you. Rosie's not my friend. He's my brother. What do you mean he's your brother? You only have one brother, Clayton. Clayton is my baby brother. Tad is my older brother. Why didn't you ever tell me? Well, what was I gonna do, Rose? Just uh, casually mention it in passing one day? Oh, by the way, I have this mentally retarded brother that lives in an institution in Chattanooga. <laughs> it's not something that just naturally comes up in most conversations. Blanche! Rose, look, this is the way my parents wanted it. In the South, it wasn't something you talked about. It was something you whispered about. So, I guess I just got so used to not talking about it that I just... Never brought it up. I can't believe it. I share everything with you. I mean, you know all there is to know about my family. I've told you every single thing there is to tell about St. Olaf. <laughs> God, I wish I could believe that. Ted, are you tired? Should I get a room ready for him? Oh, Ted's not spending the night. Oh, he's going back to Chattanooga immediately. But he just got here. Oh, why don't you let him stay a little while? Absolutely not. Oh, come on, Blanche, just a couple of days. I mean, I know he'll enjoy it. And besides, everybody's going to want a chance to meet him. Uh, oh, all right, he can stay, but just for the weekend. Can we go find the dolphins? What? Dolphins? You know Flipper on TV. Well, every time I see him, I always want to know what it feels like to touch him. And Blanche knows a whole group of dolphins here in Miami, and she's touched every one of them. <laughs> Why don't 
don't know, I just go call Chattanooga and tell them what's going on. Do you know what a dolphin feels like? No. But my room is right next to Blanche's. I know what they sound like. Sophia, are you okay? You seem a little stressed out lately. I'm 87. I'm playing dodgeball with death. It makes me a little edgy. <laughs> Take a massage to make you feel a little better? You'd be willing to do that? Oh, it's been so long. Hey, sure. Why not? <laughs> well, because when you get to be my age, people don't like to touch you. I don't understand why. <laughs> What's this here? A patch of psoriasis. Work around it. <laughs> Uh, you know, Sophia, I think it's really awful of Dorothy not to come down here to get your pizza recipe. In fact, I think it would teach her a lesson if you gave that recipe to somebody else. You're right. Really? But it would have to be someone I care about. And what's even more important, someone who could cook. <laughs> you know somebody? Sophia, I love your pizza. Please, give me the recipe. Please, I'll protect your legacy, I promise. Uh... I guess I have no choice. I've run out of time and I've run out of options. Chewie, I'm gonna let you have the recipe. But you have to promise never to reveal it. Oh, I promise, I promise, I swear. Good. Now that I think about it, I'm thrilled. You're the perfect choice to carry on this grand old Italian tradition. Oh my God, a Mexican. <laughs> Should I do something wrong? No, sweetheart, of course not. I just think you'd be happier in here, you know, away from all those guests. Rose, you don't mind if Tad sits here with you for a while? No, not at all. Sit down, Tad. You can help me fold napkins. Now, I want you to sit here till I get back. I don't want you playing hide and seek. I don't want you making any messes. And especially, I don't want you playing with matches, okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> so, are you having a good time? I guess. Here, honey, you just go like this, and then like that, see? What do you do for fun in Chattanooga? Well, uh, I visit my friends at the center, and I go to the park. Oh, and I watch cartoons. I love cartoons. I like Scooby-Doo and Tiny Toons and Muppet the Babies. Oh, I love the Muppet Babies. I watch them with my grandkids. Nobody ever talked with me about cartoons before. Hey, I don't have much to do today. Why don't you and I spend the day together? We can go to the zoo or the museum, anything you want. I'd like that. You know, I don't care what my sister says. I think you're really smart. <laughs> I don't care what your sister says either. I think she's in her early 60s. She is. She's my favorite sister. She sends me stuff at Christmas and my birthday. You know, Ted, you're very lucky to have Blanche for a sister. I know. She's a beautiful creature, delicate, fragile, and exquisite. The fairest flower in God's garden. She made you memorize that, too, didn't she? So did you have a fun day today? I really did. Roland played checkers with me. He's funny. Mm -hmm. and, and Sophia made me... Sp sp Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, Chewie taught me how to make funny noises under my arm. <laughs> He did? Yeah. I worry about him. <laughs> but most of the day, I, I was with Rose. We walked on the beach and we found seashells, and she brought me ice cream. Mm -hmm. Blanche. Yes, sweetheart. Can I tell you a secret? Well, yes, honey. You can tell me anything. I'm not going back to Chattanooga. Oh. Oh. You're not? Why not? Because I'm in love with Rose. <laughs> Want some cheese?
cheesecake? Not so fast, Rose. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Want some cheesecake? <laughs> Rose, Tad just told me he's not going back to Chattanooga because he's in love with you. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I knew I should not have let him stay here. I knew it. I just knew something like this was going to happen. It's not that big a deal. So he's got a little crush on me. I'll talk to him. No, you won't. You'll just make it worse. You stay away from him. Well, I think you're being a little overprotective here. Well, maybe so, but it's only because I care so much about him. Blanche, if you care about your brother so much, why didn't you ever tell us about him? Why is everybody on my back about that? Uh, well, it's not like I'm the only person in this room with a secret. What am I? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chewy. What? You just hold it right there. Spill it. Okay, but look, you gotta promise it won't leave this room. Okay, ahead, promise. Yeah. Well, when I was younger, I acted in an X-rated movie. <laughs> Get out of here. I, don't, I didn't take my clothes off for anything. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know it was a dirty movie. I mean, this guy just wanted me to play the part of a bellboy, and he just said, open the door to this woman and react. It wasn't until I rented the video that I found out what I was reacting to. <laughs> I just wish I'd have watched it before I sent a copy to my folks. <laughs> Right, Roland. What are you hiding? Okay, uh, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Helen Reddy's. How big? Well, you know that part at the end of the performance when she says she wants to thank her fans, whether they be white, black, Chinese, Mexican? Yeah. I'm the black one. When I was pregnant with Dorothy, the doctor came to me my fifth month and he said, Congratulations, Mrs. Petrillo, you're having twins. Mm -hmm. Well, I was ecstatic. Soon the big day came. It was a hard labor. But finally, Dorothy appeared. And then the doctor prepared for the second baby. And we waited, and we waited, <laughs> and the doctor finally said, There is no other baby. Oh. That is very strange. What do you think happened? Her. Now, eat from the plate of the dead. What is this? The bones of my father. <laughs> Not really. What are these? Ginger snaps? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ginger snaps. Okay, now the last thing, and the most important. You take a little vino, and you sprinkle it on top of the pizza. And that's it. Now you know the recipe? Guard it with your life. I will. I know you will. You're a good son. Sophia, wait. I really feel ashamed of myself. I only wanted your pizza recipe because I was going to use it to make money. But now you've made me feel like I'm a part of your family, so I don't want to be the one to break tradition. You are part of my family now. You mind if I call you pussycat? I'd like that. You tell anybody this recipe, you'll be neutered, pussycat. Morning, Rose. Good morning, Ted. Did you sleep well? Uh, I, I brought you something. It's a rose because your name is Rose. What's the matter? Don't you like it? Oh, Ted, why don't you sit down? I want to talk to you. Did I do something wrong? Oh, no, of course not, sweetheart. That's good. Sweetheart. Uh, Ted, have you ever had a girlfriend before? 
Sure. Uh, a couple of girls at the center, but they're not like you, Rose. They are not like you at all. Uh, what is that? Rose, I thought I told you to stay away from him. I just thought it'd be easier if I told him. Told me what? How dare you go against my wishes like this? Blanche, please. Told me what? Oh, Ted, I don't quite know how to say oh, this. What she's trying to say is that she doesn't love you and we're going to stop pretending that she does. Blanche! I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, you Ted, said I Ted, didn't do Ted, anything let wrong. Let me explain. I did. You said it. Sure. I, I hurt you and oh, I yeah. didn't do oh, anything Ted. wrong. What? I didn't. Yes, you, you, I didn't do that. anything was wrong. wrong. Yeah, Ted, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't. Ted, it's okay. You, you want to come in here with uh, me and Chewie and help us make some <sighs> breakfast? You want to do that? I didn't do anything wrong. I know. That's okay. Come on. Come on. Right here. If you had just let me handle don't this. Don't you dare point your finger at me, Rose Nyland. This is all your fault. Tad has never acted like that with me before. And look where we are. What if some of the guests were here to see that? Yes. Your brother just had his heart broken, and all you can think about are the guests. Are you really that selfish? I am thinking about Tad. I do not want him subjected to the cruel stares of strangers. You're the one who doesn't want to be subjected to those stares. How can you say that? He's my brother. I'm just trying to protect him. Is that why you don't want him to fall in love? Is that why you didn't tell your best friend that he even existed? Is that why you've kept him hidden away up in Chattanooga to protect him? Tad's happy there. They take good care of him there. He, he's got a job. He, he's got a life. A life that includes you once a month. The reason you kept Tad such a secret is the same reason you've kept him away from the guests ever since he's been here. Blanche, you're ashamed of him. And I'm ashamed of you. All right. You want to hear the truth? Yes. I'm ashamed of it. You happy now? Roland, I'll be taking Tad to the bus station in a little while. You can handle things while I'm gone. Yeah. Uh, how's he doing? Oh, he's uh, still a little bit mad at me, but he'll get over that. Tad, say goodbye to Roland. Goodbye, Roland. All right, Tad. We'll see you on your next trip, okay? You take care. Can I at least say goodbye to him? Go ahead. Tad, I'm sorry we can't be boyfriend and girlfriend, but I found something we can be, something better. We can be Valentines. You mean it? Will you be my Valentine? You bet. I'm going to keep this card forever. Oh, that's a very special card. Someone gave me that a long time ago. Someone who loved me very much. Maybe he wants it back. Oh, I don't think he'd mind. He knew you you only give a valentine to somebody who means the world to you. Somebody you're glad to have in your life. Really? Hmm. Would you be my valentine? Did, did I do something wrong? No. No, Ted, I did. Hey, Ted. How would you like to come stay at the Golden Palace a lot more often? I'd like that. <laughs> Good, because I think it's very important that people... people see what a wonderful brother I have. And maybe we could even go to Disney World or... Oh, anywhere you want. We'll do anything you like, Ted. Anything. Anything? <laughs> anything. Anything. <laughs> Would you watch cartoons with me? Something wrong, Rose? 
Oh, I'm a little depressed. I've been trying to think of some secret I've been hiding, and I can't. Well, not everybody has to have some big secret. Oh, but I feel so ordinary and boring. I guess I'll just have to face the fact that I have nothing to hide. <laughs> Boy, these tabloids are the worst. Listen to this. Space aliens found living in Miami. <laughs> What, what, what did you just say? I said, that's ridiculous. 